In this presentation, we look at arrow diagrams and how they can be used to describe one-to-one -one and onto functions. So first off, let's get an idea of what a one-to-one -one function is. In a one-to-one -one function, distinct elements in the codomain in the domain have distinct images in the codomain. So here's an arrow diagram. We have the domain on the left-hand side, and we have the elements of the domain 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. That's over here. And on the right-hand side, we have the codomain, and we have the elements P, Q, R, S, and T. And there's an arrow going from members of the domain to the codomain. So this would be uh, the idea of what a function is. So the function of 1 is P. So the when you put input 1, the output would be P, so to speak. We would call the elements here ancestors of, and we in, in relation to these elements here in the codomain. So the ancestor of P is 1. The image of 1 is P. So these, these elements over here, we would describe them as the images of elements in the domain. Okay, now we can see that each uh, element of the domain has only one ancestor. So that is the idea of a one-to-one -one function. Uh, one ancestor per element in the codomain. Here's a counter example. We see that the image of one is P but the image of 3 is also P. So P has two ancestors, and in that case, is it this function the would not be 1 to 1. So that's 1 to 1 taken care of for the time being. Now we're going to look at onto functions. In onto functions, each element in the codomain of the function has an ancestor. Another way you would look at that later on would be the range of the function is equivalent to the function's codomain. I've not used the range in this in this presentation just for the sake of brevity, but when you come across that later on, you can sort of think back to this. So here's the onto function, an onto function here. We could see that each element of the codomain has an ancestor. So P, it, its ancestor is 1. Q, its ancestor is 3. R, its ancestor is 4. S, its ancestor is 2. And T, its ancestor is 5. So each element of the codomain has an ancestor. Here's an example of a function that is not on 2. We can see that there is an image for each element of the of the domain, but the elements in the domain, well, P has uh, one ancestor, Q has two ancestors, R has one ancestor, four, but five, or sorry, S has no ancestors at all. So in this case, the function is not on two. Here's an example of a function that is both one to one and onto. We can see that each element of the codomain has one distinct ancestor in the domain. Also, we can see that each element of the codomain has an ancestor. So it obeys the two sort of, uh, rules, the two requirements to be one to one and onto. And lastly, here's an example of a function that is neither one-to-one -one nor onto. And it's very similar to something we've actually seen already, but I'll just reiterate. So looking at the codomain, we can sort of see that P, Q, R, and S have ancestor ancestors, but T does not have an ancestor. Also, R has two ancestors, which means that it's not this function is not one-to-one. So this function is neither one-to-one -one nor onto.